What's up guys, this is Adrian with North Texas Welding Equipment Repair again. Back on this uh, Big Blue Miller. Um, another common problem that we have on these, um, I know on the older, older Big Blues you'd get a help code uh, if your brushes um, were were too low or or weren't making contact, weren't broke. Um, but if if that's the first thing I'll, I'll check if somebody brings in a machine and they're having problems with it, um, erratic um, arc or no power at all. Um, I'll go ahead and check the brushes. They're they're pretty simple to check. Uh, pretty quick quick thing. All you're gonna do is come in here, pull this cover off right here. Three bolts. And your brushes are right in here. There's two screws right here. One, two. And your brushes are back in there on top you can see your slip rings right there but all you're gonna do is pull those two screws out and pull it up through the top there just fish it out and you'll be able to see them like this or like this two screws go in sits on your slip rings there's your brushes. They're just spring loaded in there. And rest up against the slip rings. But whenever these go bad, it means you don't have enough meat pushing um, enough pressure on your slip ring. So, so it, there could be a gap or something in there. I've seen where they, they get so low where these will twist in there and get jammed up and just be stuck that's not good but when you're replacing these if your ears are bad like I said all you're gonna do is pull those two screws fish it out and right here you can get behind this panel and find your two two wires that go down there and just disconnect them with the new ones the new you can't miss uh, mismatch them up there's one female and one male so you don't have to worry about marking them or anything like that but pull it apart pull your brush holder out um, put the new ones uh, connect the new one put the screws back on and you're good to go um, Another thing I like to do while I'm in there, if I'm I have problems, if the brushes are good, um, even just maintenance, whenever you're doing maintenance and oil change, I like to get a uh, a stone and stone the slip rings while it's running. I like to do it in high idle. All you're going to do is get in there and put this stone on the slip rings. Just put a little pressure until they get, you know, a, a clear, shiny uh, brass there, and uh, on both of them, that'll clean up your commentators. Um, you're really supposed to, once you clean them, blow it out with air and get that dust out of there. Try not to breathe it; it's not, it's not very uh, healthy for you. But. Uh, that's a pretty common problem is brushes. Uh, you, you probably want to check them uh, pretty, not frequently, but every couple thousand hours. Um, here's in the manual where it's saying your new length should be 5 8 from the bottom to the top. Minimum is a quarter inch. So from, from the bottom of here to, to there, the new ones are 5 eighths, and the minimum you want to have 
is a quarter inch. These are some old ones that I had had taken off. I had just changed them just because I had some new brushes. This brush looks good. It's still pretty new. This one, I don't know why that one wore out quicker, but uh, that one's a lot shorter, so I went ahead and replaced it.